We're with Gary Harmon now from Hike Vision. We're very excited to speak to him. Um, what a great first day we've got here. It's a great atmosphere. Yeah, we're really busy already. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the introduction. Pleasure. Nice to drop by. And um, maybe tell us first of all about some of the the work that you're doing this year and, and some of the things that you're most excited about. Yep. So um, first of all, let me introduce Hike Vision. We're the global leading provider of IP video solutions. Um, we're really excited to be at the show again. Uh, we're a big supporter of uh, the IFSEC event. Uh, this year, we've had some really exciting developments uh, in the UK in particular. Uh, so in the back end of last year, we opened up new offices in Manchester and in Glasgow. We have a sister company called Pyronics and they've just refreshed their training operation and showroom in Doncaster. So if you put that together with our head office in Stockley Park, we've now got four uh, base units from which we can service our customer base in the UK and Ireland. Um, we're also really delighted to share some very exciting news uh, with everybody at IFSEC, uh, and that is that we've, um, we're going to host uh, a new R&D facility in our head office in Stockley Park. Um, so we have a team of uh, research and development and uh, engineers coming over to us. We will be hosting them in our facility near Heathrow, and that gives us the opportunity to uh, look at UK market requirements and react to UK market requirements much faster than we currently do. So we see that as a real benefit to our partners here in the UK, and we're very excited to announce that here. Yeah, big news, live and exclusive here Absolutely. at IFSEC. Uh, thanks, thanks for sharing that with us. Maybe tell us about um, some of the innovations and the technology that you're most excited about this year. Yep, so um, we have a main focus this year on our AI technology, our artificial intelligence. You can see some uh, going on behind me. Uh, a key feature of this is our facial recognition technology. So. Um, we're, we're deploying artificial intelligence in a wide uh, cross-section of vertical markets. We've got facial recognition access control entry barriers, which are here on the stand. Uh, we're deploying facial recognition in retail, uh, in transportation, in corporate head office buildings to allow um, for easy entry of staff, for example. Um, some of our new software uh, is also being shown. We've got Hike Central. Hike Central allows us to pull together all Hike devices into a central intelligent platform uh, where we can actually use, for example, our facial recognition technology, have a database of known uh, people that we can then push out to the devices that are connected to the system. This gives us a real uh, benefit if you say, for example, in a campus environment where everybody that's being seen by a camera should be a known person our software can say, I don't know this person, and effectively give you a stranger alert. So it's one of a, a real powerful function of our software that we're showing here today. This screen, I've got to draw attention to it behind, is working like mad uh, over our shoulder. Can you explain some of the data that's being collected there, how fast it's working, some of the nerdy stats and facts that we love here? Certainly, so what you're seeing here is our technology capturing people's faces, yeah, uh, and what we're doing is we're giving the user an experience of how long that person has been standing in a region of interest. Yeah, so we can deploy a number of regions of interest and give you data around it, uh, surrounding the, um, the deployment of people in that area. So uh, waiting times, queue management, queue density, uh, and, and technologies like that are all coming from our advanced AI. Amazing. You've got loads of meetings locked in, I know, over the next three days. And um, What are you most excited about this year? What are the sort of conversations that are being had uh, behind closed doors? Uh, so I think the, the main um, thing that we're speaking about is functionality and ease of use for a, an operator from an end user's perspective. Uh, obviously, GDPR is a key feature, and our product makes it very easy to, uh, for the end user, the owner operator of the system, to meet those regulations in as much as uh, we're feature rich in how they can control and set up their system to be compliant with GDPR. So it's the owner operator who's responsible for GDPR. Our products will assist them in doing so. Well, we know you're very busy, so thanks very much for taking the time out to speak to us, Gary. And um, we'll, we'll see you around for the rest of the week. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Nice tie as well. Thank you. <laughs>